So you just received your new outfit for your cosplay for your Ghostbusters outfit, but you got to put patches on it now. Today's tech tip on RB's Toy Box is how to put these iron-on patches onto your outfit. Let's check it out. Now, I just got this in. Now, I went the cheap way. You know, if you go out and you get a full-fledged flight suit, you're looking at $80 to $120. And, you know, those are going to be authentic. But, I mean, let's face it. You know, nowadays, if it looks close, in my opinion, you're good to go. I'm 99% of the time, I'm never a screen-accurate guy, right? I don't go out there and make sure that it's 100% like you saw it in the movie. You saw the way I dress up for Star Trek or something. It's not the tunic. It's not accurate. It's, you know what, it looks close. If somebody looks at it, they're like, hey, that looks like Scotty, right? So that's all I'm really worried about. And that's the same way with this. I picked this up on Amazon. I don't know, it's like $34 or something. It's fairly cheap. It's lightweight. It's going to be cool and comfortable, especially if you're going to be heading over to the Bartow Con coming up in early 2024, coming up here really, really soon. And I want to wear this with my pack and, and everything else. Now, i got to put some patches on it. And a lot of the Etsy sellers that will get you your patches, they don't have any instructions with them. And you can go online and quite frankly there's a hundred different videos showing you how to iron them on and they all have different uh, opinions. I'm going to show you how RB's Toy Box does it and they stick really well for me. So I got my uh, Etsy and that link's going to be in there by the way. These things came lightning fast. This Etsy seller was fantastic. I mean it's almost like they stitched it on the plane. It gave me a shipping notice in like 30 minutes after I uh, I ordered it. I mean, it was great. And it came with these two pieces. So I'll put that link down in there. But let's get started. All right, I am going to change the camera angle here so you can see better what I'm doing. Now, first things first, you've got to get <clears throat> your iron set up over here. And you want this baby to be all the way up to the top setting. You want it to be all the way on that high cotton then we want to make sure we don't use any steam although i gonna be honest if you use steam it's not the end of the world you just have to make sure everything cools down before you try to peel it back up but for the most part no steam right no steam now the other thing that i like to use is without getting like that transfer paper or something you need just a washcloth or something you know steal it from your wife she'll never know i'm kidding but you want to damp it, right, so it doesn't, not wet, you want to run it under there and wring it out really good because this is going to keep it from burning into the material because we don't want to put the iron directly on top of the patch. We want something in between it, but we don't want to use something just straight dry because, you know, it's going to be on there for like 30 seconds. That'll possibly burn it. So we want it to be lightly damp to keep that from happening. The next thing we're going to look at is placement. So we've got our wonderful little Arby's Toy Box Ghostbusters uh, name tag here. And if we honestly go by the movie, the movie has it all the way over here, like right on this seam where you zip it up or, or whatever. But that's the flight suit look. This particular one from Amazon has a pocket here and a pocket over here. And it's going to honestly look the best. Again, we're not going for screen accurate here, but I'm going to put that right there, about an eighth of an inch above the pocket. That's where I want it. The other thing we want to do is make sure back behind here is smooth and flat. And then, of course, up here at the top is smooth and flat. And I apologize for hitting the, the stand there. And so now we got that in place right where I want it. You can pin it. I mean, you can. But if we just lay this down nice and flat and we don't move it, then it's going to be fine. So next thing I want to do is bring my iron in and just lay that right on top of that and just move it around just a little bit. And then we start to count. We need one, one thousand, two, one thousand. We're going to just count that out. I'm going to move this back just a little bit. And I don't like to 
you know, hold it in one spot too long. Just move that around. Make sure we get all the edges all the way across, all the way across here. And we're just going to keep doing this for 30 seconds or so. Is it an exact time limit? No, because we may end up having to do it for another 30 seconds. Some of these patches, just depending on who you ask, honestly, don't have the, the best glue on the back but not really who you ask it's who you buy it from so we just want to make sure that we're giving it the best chance here and then after we've done this you know again about 30 seconds or so we're going to put down our iron pull this up and then just kind of right on the edges here looks like we've got good adhesion all the way around I'm going to flip this over, not use the same spot, but I'm going to flip this over. It's actually a little bit dry. I want to find that. And I'm going to go on the edges just a little bit more. Another 10 seconds or so. <laughs> and that should get me. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over on the side as soon as this cools down. Hold that thought. Let me flip this around for us. All right, so over here on the right-hand side, which is where it shows up in the movie, we are going to put this on here. Now, whether you've got a long sleeve, short sleeve, you know, whatever, it's going to be kind of where is it going to position. If you've got the broader shoulders like Arby's Toy Box, does not have then you know <laughs> you don't want it stuck all the way up here and nor do you want it kind of halfway either so we're going to bring it up i don't know about three quarters of the way up it really is a kind of like look at it in the mirror and see where you want it before you do it right and again you can pin it if you want to some folks say pin it i say if you put it on there easily you don't have to worry about it I have re-moistened my cloth for the next one, right, because we just dried it out doing the other one. The only difference with this one versus the other one is the wrinkles that we've got here that came because this is brand new. So I'm just going to iron those out so I've got that nice flat spot, just like I had on the other one. And now, keep in mind, that's warm, so it's going to grab as soon as you put it. So make sure you know right where you want it to go. Then we're going to put on top of this our cloth. Or a fast cool down, a rapid cooling it makes it bond faster and better. So it's just gonna go right down. This is just a little, you know, blower. And I'm gonna go around the edges here, pull that down, up underneath a little bit. Now we're ready. Let's make them hot. <coughs> Stay tuned to RB's Toy Box for some cool videos I've got coming up on some upgrades that you can do to your Proton Pack. Make sure you check it out.